What's up, everyone? It's Bearded RDU coming at you from Raleigh, North Carolina, and welcome to another episode of Beards and More. I am super excited to be back. I know it's been just over a month since my last review on YouTube. I've done a couple of my Keeping It Real series on Instagram, but it has just been a super crazy month of March, beginning of April. Lots of stuff going on personally, professionally, but I am excited to be back and review this new to me company and most likely a new to you company as this company just started in February of 2023. I meant to do this review back in the first week of March, but with all the stuff that was happening, it just did not work out. So I am super excited to introduce to you this new company out of Des Moines, Iowa, and it is Passport Grooming. Passport Grooming is owned and operated by an awesome, awesome human being, very involved in the beard community for over four years. He's done some reviews of different products. He's tried tons and tons of different companies, and this is Chris Helm. Chris Helm is a family man who I believe also is professionally outside of the beer community, a nurse. So thank you for your service and providing that to the people that need it, Chris. So I appreciate you in that regards as well. Now, Chris, he decided to start this company because as most of us bearded guys, he realized that using good quality products not only fully nourishes the skin and the beard, but also helps boost confidence. So Chris decided to start this new company of Passport Grooming, themed around not only beard products and really helping out the beard and the skin, but also based around his personal passion and goal, which is to travel the world. Passport Grooming offers a variety of products, including oil, butter, balm, and cologne, which is listed as parfum. I am only gonna be reviewing the oil and butter though, and you can get these for $19.99. It's a one ounce bottle of oil or a two ounce container of butter. You can also purchase a combo for $36.99. So they're right around the same average price point as many of the other companies that some of you are familiar with. I'm, like I said, I'm gonna review oil and butter and I'm gonna discuss four different scent profiles that they offer. Let's move on to the oils, the presentation and quality. So the oils are gonna come in a one ounce matte black glass bottle for $19.99 with a dropper top. All the labels are gonna have the same different style, but every, every city that is gonna be used is gonna be labeled up here. There's gonna be an image of the skyline or some kind of landmark associated with the city, as well as every city is gonna have a different color scheme. Now on the side of the bottle, you'll be able to see that there's the list of the scent profile, a list of ingredients, as well as directions on how to use for those of you that are new. And on the other side is the Passport Grooming logo, as well as where you can find them on social media. Now in regards to the quality of this, first of all, the oil ingredients, and there's a couple new ingredients in here and I'm gonna discuss what they're good for. But the list of oil ingredients is 50% ostrich oil, so it's gonna be a true bird oil, with camellia seed oil, fractionated coconut oil, castor oil, blueberry seed oil, which is new, hemp seed oil, and a one that really interests me, shark liver oil as well as golden jojoba oil, argan oil, and then Passport Grooming uses both fragrance and essential oils to create these scent profiles. Now the oil in the bottle, looking at it, is gonna be your true bird oil, all right, where it's gonna be that cloudy white color, so nothing really new with that piece. Um, in regards to the feel and beard, I really love this carrier blend. I know it can be intimidating because there's a lot of different oils in the carrier blend and there's two new ones to most of us that we haven't heard before of, of blueberry seed oil and shark liver oil, but the feel is really good. My be I actually have it in right now. The skin really loves the way this nourishes the skin and that ostrich oil really makes the beard nice and soft. It is not oily at all really, really love the way this feels in beard and makes the beard feel itself. Now, in regards to the two newer ingredients, I went ahead and did some research on these because I had not seen them used in other beard oils before, and that is the blueberry seed oil and the shark liver oil. So blueberry seed oil, most of us are aware that blueberries offer us antioxidants. Well, so does this blueberry seed oil. And so it is believed that this oil can help rejuvenate the skin. It can potentially help with wrinkles and aging of skin. So if you are 
a little bit older, like in your 40s, 50s, or older than that, and you've got these crow's feet and other wrinkles, don't be afraid to try it up around in this area. It's not going to hurt you. Just don't do too much, but it could possibly help. Not guaranteed. It also can help with multiple skin conditions, moisturize the skin, and helps repair damaged hair and skin. So blueberry seed oil, because it's new, I wanted to do that research, but it has some really good qualities to it. Now, the one that really piqued my interest when I saw it is the shark liver oil. Like, who's going to put shark liver oil in beard oil? But this stuff has some really cool potential qualities to help us out. So, one, it's going to provide skin hydration. And I definitely think I can feel that. It definitely gives my skin a different type of feel um, and can potentially help with protecting you from UV rays as well as helping assist treat cancer and prevent radiation sickness. So shark liver oil has been used to help with those. So putting in this oil, I guess, can't hurt. And I'm excited to see if it really kind of helps with that UV radiation stuff during the summertime with the North Carolina sun. So Chris, thank you for trying something different. I love it when companies do this. So awesome job. I really love the quality of this oil. So awesome job. So let's move on to the butter. All right, so the butter is gonna come in a two ounce plastic tub with a screw on top. All right, and you can see the label there. It looks very similar to the oil with the same color scheme, the name of the city, and the same image. On the one side, this is gonna be directions of how to use for those of you that are new to it, and you can see the logo there as well. And over here, you're gonna see the list of the scent profile as well as a list of ingredients. Now this butter, when you open it up, and you look in, yep, it looks like a butter. And it actually looked like it was gonna be a little bit grainy, but when I took it out, it is not grainy. All right, so you can see the butter right here. I'm gonna put a little bit in my hand. I have the scent profile in my beard right now. I do not have any butter yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and melt it down, show you how fast it melts down, and nice and it looks, so it's melted down. I'm gonna go ahead and put it through my beard and this stuff is really good. It really adds to the quality of the butter um, of the oil. So the quality here, it does not leave a greasy feeling. I'll also put it up on my head. I am not bald anymore. I am trying to grow some hair um, and it still feels really good on the head and the hair up there as well. So this butter has the ingredients of shea butter, mango butter, kokum butter, as well as the oil carrier blend minus the beard oil. So you're gonna get a lot of the same qualities, but this beard butter is really, really good. So Chris, once again, as a new company, you really hit it out of the park with the butter as well. So I really recommend these, pro, or these oils and butters, but now it's time to move on to the four scent profiles. The first set profile I'm going to discuss is one called Paris. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this one because it's not available anymore on the website. This was their very first set of the month set profile, and so it's no longer available. But every month, Passport Grooming is going to do a special scent of the month, and so far they've all been linked to European cities. There's one that I think Chris is going to create for Passport Grooming at the end of June, and I'm super excited to get that one if it ends up being what I think it is. But anyways, in regards to Paris, this is a very unique one. It is um, musk, rich tobacco, patchouli, rosewood, pink peppercorn, bergamot, and berry medley. And I'm just gonna be honest, and I told Chris this, in the bottle, I just did not like it. It, I already kind of had that bias before I put it in a beard. It just did not hit right. It's a very random mix of scent notes. And so I put it in the beard a couple days and it does improve when it's in the beard, but it's just not for me. Um, it's got a little bit of like that vintage woodsy, but bare, it just doesn't hit right. Um, and I don't know what it is, but enough on that one, because like I said, that one's not available on their website anymore. So let's go ahead and talk about three of their main line, main line scent profiles. The first one being Chicago, which is characterized as a noir nightlife cologne. And so the scent profile is red oak, pipe tobacco, black cardamom, black oud, black mulberry, cashmere, and dark musk. So this one is going to be really unique. And the theme around this, I believe Chris on the website says something about like linking Chicago to like the old school, like gangster mobster mentality and what he imagined it kind of smelling like during that time period. So in bottle, I really get the oak, the tobacco and the oud. 
Everything else kind of blends in there. And when I do smell this, I really do get those vibes of like the 1920s, 1930s, like the Al Capone type mentality. This is definitely unique. It's similar to some other scent profiles from other companies, but because of the unique blend of scent profiles, it is still different. In beard, this is really, really good. I like this one. I can wear this just about any time, work, date night, that kind of stuff. So I really recommend Chicago. Now, the one that I have in beard today is Detroit. All right, Detroit, the auto capital of the world. Um, this is considered to be the way it's characterized is a motor city musk blend. And this was one that like stuck out to me because of the scent notes in it. Very, very unique. So you have dark cologne, new car freshness, high octane fuel, motor oil, and a touch of leather. So when you sm think of those notes together, you think of a car, an automobile, um, maybe someone that works in an auto mechanic shop, but also is getting ready to go on date night with that cologne. So when I open this up, it smells just like it would in beard. Now, it's really hard to explain how it smells. It definitely does have that dark cologne, but I never really focus on like what motor oil smells like. I don't get fuel. I don't get like that open up the window to smell the gas, the gas station when you were, I don't get that smell, but this definitely has something unique to it. It's sweet, but it's dark, but it's awesome. So I've worn this quite a bit. I love putting this in. I also love the butter. So Detroit is a really unique one. It might not be for everyone, but it's because it's so unique. I really, really enjoy it. Now, the one that is my favorite out of all the scent profiles that I've tried is one called San Francisco. All right. So you can see the Golden Gate Bridge there. Now this is considered to be a Bay Area aquatic cologne. So it's got cool water cologne, ocean breeze, bay rum, honeydew melon, white lily, blue amber. So this one, I'm going to tell you, this is one of my favorites. This is possibly my favorite aquatic scent. I've been really looking for a good aquatic scent and nothing has really just been like, yes, this is awesome. This one, it does it for me. So it's when I smell it in bottle, what I smell is I really smell the cool water cologne and the honeydew melon. Like, I'm like, why is that bottom note come popping out? But I really smell that. Now, what I really like about this is so cool water cologne. That was the cologne that I wore when I was in college. It's the cologne I wore when I first met my wife. And so even when she smelled this, she goes, first of all, I wish San Francisco really smelled like this. She said, but it definitely does bring back memories from when we were first starting to date and I would wear this as my cologne. Um, the ocean breeze is definitely in there. You can kind of get that like salty, watery, aquatic mist. Um, the bay rum, I don't really smell that. In beard, what you smell in bottles, what you smell in beard. But this, if you were looking for a good aquatic scent, I highly, highly recommend this one. It gives you kind of that date night feel with the cool water, but it also gives you that very good calming aquatic scent. So this is a really good job, sweet, aquatic just fantastic so you hit you hit a home run with this one chris so passport grooming san francisco highly recommend that one it is conclusion time and i'm gonna highly recommend that you try passport grooming i know sometimes with new companies we're not sure if we want to try them out like let them get some experience let them change things up a little bit but I'm gonna tell you that the owner, Chris of Passport Grooming, he knocked it out of the park from day one. This carrier blend is fantastic, it's ridiculous. I love the fact that he took a risk right out of the gate using the two new ingredients of blueberry seed oil and shark liver oil. The feel and beard is fantastic. The feel on the skin is fantastic. The butter is pretty good. The scent profiles are super unique. And even the ones that are similar to ones that we've seen from other companies, Chris has done a really good job of putting some personal uniqueness to them. I love the theme of the company of traveling to different places, the main line focusing on American cities, the scent of the month focusing on European cities. Now, are you going to like every scent profile coming from Passport Grooming? Probably not. As I mentioned, I am not a fan of the scent of Paris, 
But the other set profiles, Chicago and Detroit, are really good. I like to use these on a regular basis. But I found San Francisco is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, aquatic blend that I have tried from any company. So, Chris, awesome job. Everyone, please, please, please try out Passport Grooming. I'm going to put their website and where you can find them on social media in the description down below. So click on those, check them out, try them out, all right? Also, if you like this video, or even if you didn't like this video, help me out a little bit and just smash that thumbs button. It takes not even a full second. It'll take like a quarter of a second just to smash that thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you're interested in listening to more reviews of some different companies and new products that I've tried. And then in the comment section down below, if you could go ahead and just leave me some feedback about the video, just a, hey, what's up? But I've also got a question I'd like you to try to respond to. If you were to choose one city that you would like Passport Grooming to try out, put that in the comments down below and maybe even list some scent notes that you would think would be good for that city that you commented about. And on that note, I want to thank you so much for coming back to Beards and More. And you know what's coming. Rock on.